-hmm. Okay, we're ready, Father Jim. So, when you are in the ministry of thorough fur, mm -hmm. and this is called the thorough bowl, mm -hmm. and this is called the boat, right? So, when we're getting ready to put incense on it, you first hand the boat to the priest. Because this is the beginning of Mass, right? It's the beginning of Mass. Mm -hmm. And now you reach down slowly, never touch the metal with your hand, but there's a little handle there for your fingers that does not get hot. This gets hot, this does not. So you grab this part and you slide it up part way, and then grab it with your fingers, and then raise it up high for the priest to put the incense on. So inside there is a charcoal, and what's in here is called incense. There's a difference there. Mm -hmm. So the priest will put uh, a scoop of incense on there, and then when he closes this, that means he's finished, and you let it down very slowly. And then I hand this back to you. And now we're ready to start the procession. All right. When we're starting the, when you're carrying the incense, if you're right-handed, which uh, I recommend putting the right, you want to kind of swing it at your side a little bit like this. Mm -hmm. And since you're leading the procession, you always walk very slowly. So you just kind of swing it a little bit with the wrist of your hand as you're going up the aisle. Okay. okay. All right. So incense leads, and you're swinging it at his side. And the crossing candles follow. Remember, it's a very slow procession. Then the incense, the person in the ministry of Thurifer, bows and he goes to the right and up the ramp. And the crossing candles bow and go to the left to put their crossing candles away. So the Thurifer with the incense comes up the ramp and stands back in this sort of corner until the priest comes up and bows and reverences and kisses the altar. And as soon as I kiss the altar, the thurifer with incense steps up to the priest and hands it to him. I've already put incense on it. And after you hand it to the priest, then you step back to your place while the priest is incensing the altar. So then the priest incenses the whole altar. I'm doing this a little more quickly than normal. Mm -hmm. And then when he gets back around this way, when you see him bowing, then this incense person steps forward. So you don't want to stand here. Do not stand here while I'm incensing the altar, because that's you know, you're the center of attention and you're kind of the focus. So you always want to kind of step back over here while I'm incensing the altar so that it's all about the altar and that then you don't have to be the center of... of and now you just go ahead and place the incense back on the uh, credence table, right? And we're ready for... So you take the incense back to the credence table and one of the important things to do when you get it back on the table is to take the lid off of the thurible so it doesn't get hot. Mm -hmm. And we'll go film that now. Okay. All righty, go ahead. So you come and place the thurible on this stone, not on the wood, and as soon as you set it here and put the chain down, then you take the lid off and just set it to the side so that it doesn't get too hot. Because if you leave the lid on the thurible, it'll get too hot to touch. Mm -hmm. And then place the boat right to the side. Okay. And then you can go back to your pew. All right, perfect.